let's review why it's so important to prevent hypothermia during surgery and show you how Alon successfully maintains normal body temperatures during surgical procedures. Intraoperative hypothermia is common due to the body's response to anesthesia, as well as the operating room temperature, patient anxiety, and the lack of patient clothing. Even mild hypothermia can result in negative outcomes, including an increased risk of wound infection, increased likelihood of cardiac events, impaired coagulation, and impaired immune function. Perioperative warming has been associated with a reduction in perioperative complications as shown here. Recent guidelines call for active warming throughout the intraoperative phase and that patients be warmed from the induction of anesthesia for procedures over 30 minutes. Forced air warming is the most popular method of active warming today, but it's not the most effective. In fact, Hypothermia often persists even when patients are warmed with forced air. Intraoperative hypothermia was found to be common and often prolonged in a study reviewing intraoperative core temperature patterns in nearly 40,000 patients warmed with forced air. Alon has been shown to achieve normothermia more consistently than routine forced air warming methods in transplant surgeries, open-heart surgeries such as cabbages, other cardiac procedures, such as TAVRs, and hypothermic burn patients. Studies where Alon has been used have documented shorter time to extubation with Alon as compared with forced air warming.